there were two important things which the governor has not taken into account which to my mind were extremely important one that in so far as the congress and the ncp are concerned there is absolutely no shaking up of the there is no internal dissension in either the congress or the NC, or the ncp congress had 44 members ncp had 53 members this is a block of 97 there is absolutely no dissension in either congress or the ncp so in the 97 the 97 still continues to be a solid block what is disturbed is say out of the 56 that the share with the severe issue sena had 34 have expressed a, which uh, brings it down to, no, no, your lordship sir so lord. out of the ninth, second thing which the governor had to bear in mind is this that as of this date there is not even a suggestion that the shiv sena is going to team up with the bjp to form the government so that's again a circumstance which is totally alien and alien to his uh, consideration so he can't be oblivious to the fact that in a three party coalition the dissension has taken in one party out of the three the other two are steadfastly toward <coughs> the coalition and they are not they are not uh, they are not by any by any means you know sidekicks they are almost at par all the three are virtually at par except the congress which was a little lower may only make one lower than the may only make one request look to examine the facts of the case after malod i show the law on your lordship has shown but some of the uh, paragraph some of the law is for, unfortunately malod not it's assisted in 2006 malod uh, thereafter also malod why why the governor can take that step even if ncp congress block is not disturbed 482 malod para 85 i am reading 85 161 164 and 165 which is on on this point malod and malod kindly bear one factor in mind Lord, whether the court would have taken the same view which the governor took may not be the test while determining, my lord, the decision taken by the governor. Court may perhaps, on the facts, arrive at a different conclusion. Lord, eighty-five. Certainly, there can be no quarrel with the principle laid down in Kyoto case about the evil effects of defections, but the same have no relevance for determination of the point in issue. the stage of preventing members to vote against the declared policies of the political party to which they belong had not reached if mlas vote in a manner so as to run the risk of getting disqualified it is for them to face the legal consequences that stage had not reached in fact the reports of the governor intended to forestall any voting and staking the claim to form the government well this was a case of Lot three fifty six. He sent a report that now uh, dissolve the government. Yes, so the stark distinction so far as Rameshwar is concerned, Rameshwar government was not formed. It was at the initial stage, immediately after elections, correct, where there was no party who got the majority. Instead of waiting for somebody to form a majority, the governor asked for. Dissolution of the three fifty six. And the reason he has given is that if I spend more time to allow a coalition to be formed, they will cobble up a majority, and thereby violate ten schedule, and then create a government. So court said the governor cannot assume that the one of the political parties would go ahead. Cobble up majority by coalition. This is a wrong inference that the yes. governor has drawn. But as against Rameshwar Prasad's case, this is a case where the government is subsisting for more than three and a half years. So that's the distinction between Rameshwar and Navas. I'm just Lord, putting it to you. Facts, yes, but the legal proposition which I would Lord, place for your lordship's consideration may be the same. The consequence which would the the power of the governor or the exercise of power of the governor. at the time of initial formation or subsequent shall have to be the same that's my respectful submission because i my lord with profound respect do not see any this my lord in uh, any reason to not read this ratio for exercise of power under 174 and 175 also this was also the case where the supreme court said you should have called for the floor test you could not have said that you no know, they might incur disqualification My lord, your lordships are right. My lord, justice Narsimha are right. Fact situation was 
356. But why, my lord, I am posing a question to myself. This ratio not apply when the governor decides to, to call for a floor test, which your lordship said is the only test. My lord, further, it is not necessary for us to examine for the present purpose, para 4 of the 10 schedule, uh, dealing with merger and or deemed merger. In this view of the question sought to be raised, my lord, kindly see the last line. It could not have been gone into by the governor for recommending dissolution. My Lord, what fell from my Lord, the Chief Justice would be, my Lord, if I, I put it in the context of this ratio, would be that the governor will have to first form an opinion that these people are working since three years. They have a reason to, they have shown the reason to the governor why they are parting ways after three years. But can they do it after three years? Would it not amount to a split? Would it not amount to disqualification in the chapter 10? Schedule 10. 166. The governor cannot assume to himself the aforesaid judicial power and based on that assumption come to the conclusion that there would be violation of the 10th schedule and use it as a reason for recommending dissolution. But he also cannot refuse floor test. But look at what the consequence of these observations in the present case is. Okay. The governor. I, I see, earnestly request. Okay, just, but we are since beyond those two paras. Just those two paras. No such, the court says, the governor cannot refuse the formation of the government and override the majority because of his subjective assessment that the majority was cobbled by illegal and unethical means. Therefore, irrespective of what the governor feels or what somebody else feels about you know, the fact that in forming a government with the INC and the NCP, you gave up a people alliance. It is irrelevant to the governor. This is a government, this is a government which has been legitimately formed. All right. That's step one. Second, para 166 says that the governor cannot assume to himself the aforesaid judicial power. And based on that assumption, come to the conclusion that there'd be a violation of the 10 schedule. So it was alien to the governor's mind that these 34 would have to be excluded from consideration because they have incurred a disqualification under the 10th schedule. They would. They For would. the governor, they he would. has to treat these as part of the Shiv Sena, irrespective of what their internal they extension is. And, and say. Therefore, he cannot now say that this 34, the letter which these 34 have given me, is a ground for shaking the faith of the government or the trust of the government which they have. He has to take these 34 as forming a part of the Shiv Sena Legislature now, now Party. Let, now let me show. And if they are a part of the Shiv Sena Legislature Party, where is there any where is there any ground to say that? Well, there is a there is now a change in the uh, in the position of trust in the house. Prima facie, at least for him. Now, Lord, let me show the judgment of the High Court, which was dealt with by Bumai judgment. Your Lordships, my Lord, uh, uh, very right concern. Lord comes in the form of Mr. Surabji's arguments, which was rejected and your Lordship in Bomai did not accept that rejection. A special bench of three judges of High Court heard the writ petition and dismissed the same on the following reasoning. Please come to six, Manor. The introduction of 10th schedule of the constitution has not affected in any manner the content of power under Article 356. Lord, the argument of Mr. Surabji was that, all right, why you are not concerned with 10th schedule? Direct floor test to be held. Don't dismiss the government under 356 straightway. And, my Lord, the court, my Lord, thereafter, Lord, 397, in this context, my Lord, the court examined this, my Lord, that it is wrong. The government, governor should consider before removing the minister, before not installing the government and imposing precedence rule, you should have given the floor test. The request was that give me floor test. Don't impose precedence rule. Let the 10th schedule play its role. If somebody votes against the will of the party, he will be disqualified. But don't take extreme step of 156. Take step under 174 and 175. That's what precisely the governor has done. Where all this is considered. But before that, please come to para 7 of my propositions. Why, my lord, this cannot be the argument of the petitioner and I will demonstrate, my lord, what is the flip side of this argument. If your lordship, my lord, were to hold that governor cannot examine the inter dispute or 
he waits till the speaker decides disqualification. What is the flip side? I must Lord, assist your lordship with that flip side. Para 7. There is one more reason why governor cannot preempt the decision of the speaker at the stage of directing flow test since it is possible that the original political party of the members of the house may condone the defiance of the VEEP as contemplated under para 21b of the 10th schedule. Lord, kindly pause here for a minute. Lord, disqualification is not automatic. If I, as a member of legislature assembly, legislative assembly of a particular party, vote in defiance of the VEEP, so there is a provision that the party may condone it within 15 days. So, governor cannot say that I will wait for 15 days when he is, Lord, he, he, he is presented with the facts. That this, this is the dissatisfaction. The government has lost majority. There are uh, attacks taking place. There is vandalism taking place. Threats being administered. Then I will not wait for 15 days. Because Mr. party Mr. Mr. Uh, Solicitor, there are, two distinct, examining proposition. <laughs> there are two different distinct things. One is a dissatisfaction within a party. Right? And the other is a loss of the loss of majority of the government. <clears throat> One is not necessarily indicative of the other. Correct. You now tell it. us, in this situation which we had over here, we now put ourselves in the shoes of the governor. What was it that would have led the governor to come to the conclusion that the government had lost the majority? What was the what was the factual what was the factual basis for him to conclude? Again, only Balot, one thing. Balot, kindly bear one. Only thing. one. Only one. Thirty-four who were part of the government, who were supposed to be having confidence of the chief minister. Right. So, what second, is... Second, second. So, second, therefore, now the, let's go to the bottom of it. Well, look, can governor, I... Can first, governor, 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 to like, the bottom What is the governor saying? What is the governor saying? These 34 <clears throat> who are part of the Shiv Sena have now expressed their dissatisfaction with the leadership of the Shiv Sena. Unless the governor says that the natural corollary is that these 34 will cease to support the Shiv Sena. I'm sorry. On, sorry. We will, we will take, we will take, make every assumption in favor of the governor's decision. Hmm? We'll, because that's how we test the proposition. What would the governor have said, though he doesn't say that, that these 34 person, these 34 th persons who are part of the alliance between the Sena, the Congress and the NCP have now expressed their dissatisfaction. He can call for a floor test if he has any circumstances before him to indicate that the strength of this three-party coalition has been substantially reduced. The Boma is absolutely correct, it binds us anyway, that this disqualification issue under the 10th schedule is completely irrelevant. But what is the consequence? The governor has to treat these as continuing members of the Shiv Sena. Even before us, they are not saying that we have ceased to be members of Shiv Sena. Yes. Now, if they continue to be members of the Shiv Sena, and the Shiv Sena therefore continues to have 55 or 56 members, which it originally had. if they vote against, they will incur disqualification. Governor would say that. Right. But then where is the question, what is the reason for calling a trust vote? Because they said the that... Governor, even... All our judgments say, Rameshwar Prasad says that, Bomai says that. That the 10 schedule disqualification is irrelevant to the exercise of judgment by the government. I am obliged. That that's the problem. The speaker. Therefore, the facts as they stand before the governor indicate that these 34 are part of the group of 56 Shiv Sena MLAs. Now, if that is so, on what cogent material does the governor call for a flow test? What has changed? Can I, can I, I need to call for a flow test. The difficulty is... Tell us one reason Lord, why he has to call for a floor test then. Lord, your, your lordships are again on facts, my lord. I am on propositions first. And then, my lord, I will try and fit into the uh, propositions to the facts of the case. Number one. Number two. Principally. Okay, forget the facts. Forget the facts. Principally. Forget the facts. What? The governor, as a matter of principle now, Bomai tells us and Rameshwar Prasad tells us that circumstances which would lead to the warrant, which would warrant the invocation of the 10th schedule are alien to the mind of the governor when he calls for a four-floor test. Correct. All right. So, therefore, 
the possibility that these 34 in our case would incur a disqualification is irrelevant to the exercise of power by the governor. Bow down, Malut. Right? Now, if that is so, then the governor must, forget the facts of this case, the prime principle, the governor must proceed on the basis of the position as it obtains. When the government has been formed, there is nothing which has, and there is nothing which has, unless there is something, mm -hmm. some subsequent event which alters the legal constitution of the governor of the government, the governor must continue to have before him and analyze the situation on the basis of the situation as it was when the government was formed and prior to the 21st of June in our case. He can't go into the 10th schedule, that's the speaker's jurisdiction. If he can't go into the speaker's jurisdiction, which is the 10th schedule, then what is the basis for calling a floor test? The only reason why he could have called for a floor test is that these 34 numbers, these 34 have alienated them. So they have given up. They say that we have lost faith in uh, Uddhav Thakre. And therefore, these, 30, these 34 are excluded, the numbers.